Well, it's been an interesting day, uh, and it seems to have gone in favor of the French government. So over the past four weeks, we saw that not much was going in their favor, especially as far as these yellow vest protesters were concerned. For four week, uh, weekends now, they've shown up in the center of Paris. But this time, the security forces, it seems the additional uh, police uh, uh, personnel that have been deployed on the streets of Paris and France has helped mitigate what was expected. So far, reports suggest from the police they've arrested 735 uh, demonstrators here in Paris. And other th overall, uh, 1,000 people have been arrested across France. What this has helped do is that it has softened the blow, so to speak. Like last week, we saw all the, all the routes leading into Paris that they were open. This time, though, the routes have been closed. And so far, the situation has been relatively calm. Well, nearly a month of protests has clearly put pressure on the government. This week, they conceded that they were going to scrap that unpopular fuel tax. Uh, but despite that, we're still seeing people out on the streets. We're still seeing cars burning. Uh, why is that? Because this isn't just about a fuel tax surcharge. Yeah. This is now about the economy. Uh, destitution, economic destitution in this country. People say they are overtaxed, not just on fuel, but everyday consumable items as well. What this means is, is that for a lot of people, like uh, uh, protesters that we met out in the streets, they say that by, by the middle of the month, all their money is gone. Overtaxation is a big issue. In fact, this country, France, is at the top of the list in overall taxes that are paid by European Union citizens. So people are hurting, not just because of that fuel tax, because of other economic issues, and this movement is spreading now to pensions reforms, university, uh, student loans. All these things are major issues that are fueling this unrest in France. Ali Mustafa, there for us live in Paris. Many thanks.